So today we're going to be talking about the energy of Saturn and Cancer natally and what this placement means if you have it in your chart. With that being said, what Saturn represents is it represents structure in our lives. It represents also discipline, responsibilities, and barriers. And Saturn is also the ruler of time, so it can bring this energy of patience and having to work hard for results. Also, Saturn will show our fears and it's our internal blockages as well. Saturn is the planet that has rings around it. And in astrology, it represents uh, in our charts an area where we face restrictions, blockages, or fears. And an area of time that develops slowly and it will improve over time, even though it starts out pretty rough or pretty lacking. So in Cancer, Cancer is the sign of family, sign of private life, of personal commitments, personal things, and it's about our emotions. So for one, Saturn in, in Cancer can show emotional blockages of some form that manifest as external limitations or external forms of self-sabotage. Because usually when there's an emotional blockage, it might block us from, you know, external actions, you know. The other thing is that Saturn represents responsibilities. And so when it's in Cancer, this is actually the opposite sign than what Saturn rules. So in a way, it's like in fall in Cancer. And basically, it will show the energy of having uh, many personal commitments. And like you might have some personal or family-based karma that your family lineage is in the process of overcoming. But how this manifests in a, in a more, you know, visible sense is like those that have Saturn and Cancer, they can have personal commitments or responsibilities, like such as taking care of kids or like having to be providers of their home and having to like do a bunch of practical responsibilities or like work in order to sustain themselves and their loved ones. And sometimes this will get in the way of their own dreams and their own ambitions. Because again, Saturn wants to be in the opposite sign. It wants to be in Capricorn or somewhere near the 10th house. So if you have Saturn in the 10th house, this energy will be less uh, restrictive on you or it will be less severe. And we'll talk about what, it, what uh, each of the house placements mean in a bit. But anyway... Um, those with Saturn and Cancer might have to make professional or personal sacrifices in order to take care of responsibilities and loved ones uh, at some point in their life or throughout a significant portion of their lives. In the end, the, there is reward though and like things pay off. And by taking care of your family, being a provider, um, raising your children and putting your, careers, your career goals secondhand, Eventually, your children will succeed and they will actually be the payoff. So they will actually come come back and be wildly successful and support you through their success. So that's the positive outcome of uh, Saturn and Cancer. For those that have the expression where like they manifest a lot of personal responsibilities, for example, having kids at an early age or like having a family that's really struggling. So they had to get a job from a teenager from a young age to su support the bills or stuff like that but overall like whether that expression manifests for you or not the other thing about Saturn and Capricorn is whichever house that is in it will show the uh, area of life where you have to demonstrate personal commitment Saturn is about time Cancer is a sign that's about growth it's about patience it's about slow and steady development that's why it rules the womb where the baby develops and it also rules the family it re represents our ancestry our roots our tradition so in general you know whichever house that you have saturn and cancer in shows a house where you have to demonstrate personal commitment through being patient and disciplined and working even when the results 
are not there or working even though there is no promise of results that's the type of energy saturn and cancer is about because cancer is a water sign water signs always oppose a earth sign earth signs are the side of the zodiac that represent material gains material reasons they they represent practical goals and they represent planning and predictability Whereas water size, they they represent emotions. Like they represent the reason why you do things uh, on a on a internal level, and they don't always show material results. You know. So anyway, I'm saying all this to come back to the point and explain basically to explain why Saturn and Cancer will give this type of energy depending on which house that is in where you have to like work hard without the promise of results. And that could be the limitation or the blocking kind of factor of Saturn or like how it feels. But then the results, which always come like later or develop over time, tend to catch you off guard because Saturn does reward hard work and it does reward commitment. And you with Saturn and Cancer, you experience this energy of fulfillment and also unexpected reward because you were putting in time, energy, and patience towards responsibilities that you didn't even know could pay off. And you did it because you had to and not because of a material reward. So depending on which house that is in, it will show where this energy is present of having to show personal commitment and discipline even without the promise of rewards. And usually out of this need to take care of loved ones or like this need to to actually demonstrate how genuine you are. Cancer is about emotions, it's about loyalty, it's about being genuine. So so for example, for an artist, this placement can manifest like in their fifth house or something where they have to work hard to continue being creative, to continue funding their creative projects, even though there is slim to no appearance of a reward, you know? And in the process, they really have to, you know, prove and dedicate their genuine intentions and then Saturn ends up rewarding them greatly in the process through receiving recognition validation and all the things that the fifth house represent but you know again Saturn and Cancer is a very tough placement in a way because it's like the energy of doing things even if there seems to not be a reward so like that could be the main theme or the main karma you had to face in your life and if you keep doing things always just for a reward you'll keep running into obstacles or delays so it's like Saturn is trying to teach you to commit to things from a genuine place. That's that's kind of uh, what cancer represents. So with that being said, let's talk about a few celebrities that have this placement. And then we'll talk about what it means to each of the houses. So check which house Saturn is in in your chart. And the timestamp will be in the description. Donald Trump has this placement. Angelina Jolie. Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, who has a bunch of humanitarian interests as well. Like he, he's not only a movie star, but he's transitioned towards humanitarian goals. Um, John F. Kennedy had this placement, another very genuine figure in American history who was very well loved by the population. Uh, Napoleon I had this placement. Nikola Tesla, you know, who worked on his science from, you know, his science and his technology and invented AC current, which is the current that we use when we plug devices into our walls, um, into the outlets. And, you know, he, he died with little to, to nothing, you know, but he contributed massively towards science and towards technologies like electricity and even there's some there's some rumored technology about wireless electricity that he was working on. But um, again, he had to commit himself even when there was no promise of reward. So I feel like he's a great example. If you look at any biographies of Nikola Tesla or videos, video documentaries on YouTube, you'll see um, perhaps like a quick example of what I mean. So Joaquin Phoenix has this placement, David Beckham, Charlize Theron, Coluche, uh, Aishwari Rai, Penelope Cruz, Bob Marley, 
again, another genuine figure, somebody that made music from the goodness of his heart and from, you know, genuine passion. And then it turned into a massively successful career. But again, you know, their success of those that, I mean, those that have Saturn cancer and cancers, their success can sometimes be unplanned. You know, it can be, it could be coming from something that they did out of being genuine. And that's what's so important because Saturn is about success. And when it's in cancer, this is the sign that's doing, that's the opposite of public opinions. And this is the sign that rules the opposite of reputation, status, and doing things for, for validation. So usually they get their success through doing something that they're genuinely in, invested into and working hard at it. So then next we have Bradley Cooper. He has this placement, Tyra Banks, uh, Sylvester Stallone, Russell Brand. Um, I feel like he has strong Saturn and cancer energy. You know, he really speaks his genuine heart. He's not, he's an influencer on the, uh, on YouTube and on various social media platforms. And he really speaks his truth. And, you know, I feel like it's, it comes from a place that's genuine. And as a result, Saturn has translated to a lot of success for him, even though his opinions might initially have been against the grain or they could have been unsupported by societal standards at first and what people expected of him. So next, George W. Bush has this placement. Cher, the entertainer. Frank Sinatra, Nostradamus. William Shakespeare, yet another artist who likely started with little, you know, promise of reward, but, you know, decided to work hard anyways at his craft or at his passion. And it turned him into basically a, an icon of poetry, writing, and, and just language. So the rapper 50 Cent also has this placement. Paul Walker had this placement. Enrique Iglesias. And a lot more people that I have not listed. Um, Fergie, the singer, also has this placement. Jimmy Fallon. Another person that if you look at his roots, uh, Jimmy Fallon started out, you know, really out of a out of a place of passion and not wanting the success that he had right now so that's a good example as well you know not planning for it you know using his humor and his talent of communication to to entertain others or to to do his passion you know michael angelo also had this placement but anyway um those are just a few people prominent figures that have Displacement, and now let's talk about what it means to each of the houses. The houses. The houses.